Hi everyone and welcome to the sewing swan. As I said in my last tutorial, today we'll be sewing for babies and we'll be making baby hats. These three different yet adorable versions. The basic hat and the bare ear hat and the knotted hat. Not only this, you will be giving link to full written instruction pattern with the templates so let's know how to how to do it if you haven't subscribed yet please do and let's see how to do it please please description below for the pattern I'm using today I'm using these uh, 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 beanies pattern from it's called the teeny beanie from patterns for pirates this is a great website um, they give many adorable free patterns for you to use and download and they even um, let you sell your work they give you permission to sell your work from their free patterns I see this very generous let's um, thank them by downloading this pattern and mentioning it wherever we use it respecting their copyrights so they give you written instructions and size charts for this one you can make it from newborn up to 12 months and most important of all they give you uh, the pattern this one is for the basic beanie If you add the ears, they give you a pattern for the ears and they give you um, marks where you should place your ears so you transfer marks from the uh, pattern piece uh, uh, to your template. And this one for the uh, knotted, the knotted beanie. Let me show you how these look. So you, you just trace it on your uh, pattern paper or even a, a blank piece of paper A4 paper you will be able to trace it don't forget to place your uh, marks where you place the ears if you want to make this pattern and then you can transfer it to a hard kind of paper so this one for the basic beanie and here is the um, marks where you should put the ears here is the ear template and here is the knotted uh, hat template they even give you a, a, a pattern for the hat band which is this one some nets of your choice you will need your templates I advise you just get them all at, at once on hard stock and you can keep them forever you will need some pins, your scissors, and of course your sewing machine. If you don't have a serger, a serger is preferred for sewing knits. I don't have a serger yet, so I'm using my sewing machine with a zigzag stitch. So it allows fabric to stretch without um, um, cutting your stitches. And as a general idea for using knits, you test the stretch size it should be stretching of course four ways but um, stretches more horizontally so you know you are at the right direction you place your template this way if it stretches more horizontally this is where you place your template beanie a hat Place the template on fold transfer the ear points where you should locate the ears into uh, to the fabric I'm sorry trace and cut so you end up with a piece like this opens this way and you will use also the ear template to cut four ear pieces for each 
hat using this template. That is to give a little bit roundness in the hat around the baby's uh, head and not to be just flat to make it more curvy. So take it to your sewing machine and stitch it close and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. You need to decide uh, whether you are making a basic beanie or a bare ear beanie because if you are not making, uh, if you are not adding the ears, you will place the right sides together. And zigzag uh, close them, close them with a zigzag stitch. If you are adding the beanies, you need to sew the beanies together first, each two together with the right sides facing each other and you sew, you zigzag or you use your serger to sew them closed. Each two together with the right side facing each other. And getting uh, the right side of the ear outside, getting the ears flipped, you will insert them inside while right sides of the two pieces of the hat are facing each other you will place them on to meet the marks I, I noticed that the ears are a little bit bigger um, than the, uh, the space between the marks which is okay you can just try to center the marks on the pieces of the ear this way, try to get them centered and pin in place. There, there, and here is the uh, the ear on each side. You will adjust them to get the marks on equal spaces. Now you will sew all around the same way as before using a serger or a zigzag stitch when you flip it out you get something as cute as this now we get to attach the, uh, the hat band which is the same which is the same each of the three uh, hat patterns Fold it widthwise and sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. The band is a circle now. Now fold it in half lengthwise, wrong sides together, Now, we will need to put marks on the quarters, four marks, one, two, three, and four, exactly in the middle to make four equal quarters, and same for the hat itself. There you go, you will have them in the row, edges. of both the hat and the band like this and you could you could use the side uh, the side seams as your side marks now uh, the band looks a little bit smaller than the hat so we will have to stretch it while sewing to match the marks now with right sides together we will insert the hat into the band. We will pin together, making sure that the, uh, the marks we have took previously meet. And we will have to stretch, as I said before, the band to, uh, to fit into the hat because it is a little bit uh, smaller. And we will sew all around. hat inside 
and the band outside and all the marks matched I stretched the band a little bit to meet uh, the marks together and now I'm taking it to the sewing machine you can add more uh, pins to secure if you need to and sew all around and there we got the hat finished how easy is that now you fold it uh, lengthwise fold the uh, the band in half and give it a good press this way and choose the lucky baby you are going to place it on for the knotted hat uh, virgin use this pattern to the size you want place the template on fabric on fold trace and cut so you get two identical pieces of this shape and also get the, um, the matching headband now go ahead fold it widthwise and sew the same way we have done with the other head attaching the band to the head is all band closed to the side and sew the two pieces of the head, the main pieces of the head, all around with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and put the same marks, the four marks to make four equal quarters in both the same as we did in the last pattern the main hat and the hat band and we'll do exactly like we did in the, um, in the previous version let's place our marks giving it a good press really pops up the pattern and make it look sharp and nice here they are pressed with marks in the middle and now exactly the same way we fold the band widthwise in half and sew it all around the hat With the, he with the head band fold, insert the head with the row edges at one side, match them up and stretch the band to match the marks in the band with the marks on the head. Pin and you're ready to go. And here it is pressed and there you go and there you go baby hats in no time please if you like this video give me a thumbs up share it and if you have any question please comment below i'll see you next time